feel different coming into this season as opposed to this time last year? You said, how, how do I feel? Yes. Like, how, in what ways are you different? Oh, okay. Um, I'd say more confident-wise. Um, just be more of a leader out there, you know, to the younger guys because we got a bunch of younger guys out there. And just, you know, being able to just to play my game. How do you learn leadership? I mean, is that something that's that's been natural to you or is this something that you had to kind of figure out trial and error? I believe I had to figure it out um, just, you know, throughout my collegiate, you know, times, you know, just years. I say I started learning like leadership when I was a junior at, at Illinois State, you know, when I had to, you know, run a team a little bit, you know, just tell the other guys, you know, what to do on the floor. So I feel like I just grew into that leadership role, you know, as time went by. Is there anything specific you take from that time that you're applying this year with so many young guys? Um, Wait, say that again. Is there anything you take from when you're talking about being a leader at Illinois State mm-hmm. that you're applying now that you have so many young guys on the team and you know, yeah, don't like, know college basketball? Just tell them, um, you know, positions-wise, you know, just space the floor. You know, it would be better for us in our offense. Um Make sure you stay in the gym and make sure your your mental is good. You know, you don't want to get down to yourself, you know, being out there. Because it's, it's hard, you know, just playing at that college level. So, What did you learn from the, the draft process? And when you went through that, what are you really trying to take and, ter- and actually turn into this season and translate onto the floor so you can maybe make that leap? Um, defense. You know, I definitely learned a lot when I was, you know, traveling, you know, how poor defense was, you know, so. I definitely try to emphasize that every time I step on the floor here. Um, and, you know, just being a dog, you know, it's it's, it's, it's kind of hard, you know, playing, you know, just traveling and getting off the plane and, and being tired and, you know, things like that. So I just make sure I, you know, be stay motivated every day as much as possible. What, what in particular on defense do you really think you need to focus in on and change this year? Um, I say all ball defense, you know, just – being in the right position, you know, at all times, you know, and uh, I feel like my own ball defense is pretty good. It's just, you know, when I get off the ball, sometimes you just be lolly, lollygagging, and, you know, that's important if you just make sure you, you stay in the right spot. You're talking about, like, motivation. You just won, like, you know, second team, sorry, all SEC, mm-hmm. Edwards, obviously, first team. Is that something that's motivating you guys getting into the season? Was that, like, how was that? Yeah, it definitely motivated me. I um, always want to, you know, do better, uh, try to get first or, you know, above that, you know. So, you know, it just it motivates some of the guys that want to be, you know, first team, second team as well that's on the team. So that definitely motivated us going into the season. When you had the jump uh, last season from mid major to high major, what were some of the keys to making that jump? And uh, Coach Cal, obviously, up there on the podium, said it took you a little while. What, were, mm-hmm. what was that adjustment like? I feel like it was speed of the game, pace of the game. Um, the league I came from was kind of slower and kind of more, you know, office base, you know, trying to run your plays and things like that. But, you know, Cal emphasized always, like, just run, you know, try to get down the floor before the other team do. And just physicality, too, you know, uh, just being a dog out there, you know, and being more physical was, was probably my problem, you know, down the stretch. So two things that jumped out in the summer were the three-point shooting and the way you guys shared the ball in Toronto. Mm-hmm. How much of that, though, now that the competition will be you know, a step up, how much of that will we still see? Do you think this will be a three-point shooting team kind of the yeah. same way? Yeah, I believe so. I, I believe we have a lot of shooters that's on the team, you know, a lot of people, a lot of guys that can make shots, you know, at the high, highest level. Um, and just ball movement, you know, guys that can play make, facilitate for others. I feel like we got a bunch of those guys that's on the team, including Trey, you know, him being a big, but he could also pass the ball and shoot. So, you know, that's that's what's really going to be a, a big step, you know, into coming into the season. How do you like playing for Coach Calipari? Man, he's a great coach, legendary coach. Um, definitely wanted to play for him ever since I was younger, a younger kid. So, you know, blessed to be here, you know, just to be able to play for him. It's, it's an honor, so yeah. He smiled as soon as I said his name. Yeah, man. What's <laughs> up? So. Hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, my, my What's it going to take for you this year to be as good from three point as you've been in previous years? Um, just being able to get up 500 to 1,000 shots a day, uh, stay in the gym, um, 
keeping my confidence up, knowing I can shoot at the highest level. Um, and that's it, really. As a shooter, is, is there a particular spot on the court that you really like to, you know, kind of get to or maybe a, spe a specific kind of shot like a catch and shoot or maybe you know a dribble pull up anything like that in particular that you really I feel think? like at the beginning me having that dribble to a three was was my you know to go move you know just off the dribble shot but you know as I came here it was more so you know I had to learn how to catch and shoot so I actually learned that and got better at it, you know, over time. So I feel like I can do a little bit of both. Where is your your preferred spot? Yeah, is there a spot oh, on the floor? Preferred spot? Mm, no, I don't have one. No. I feel like <laughs> I can shoot anywhere. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Can you just talk about sorry what you've seen out of like the freshmen that you've been working with so far? There's so many of them, only a few veterans. Um, you know, you talked about leadership. Just what you've seen out of this group so far, other than blending. Out of this group, I've seen um, how well they catch on. You know. I feel like, you know, at the beginning, you know, they were still in a little high school, little phase and things like that, you know, just trying to get a bucket. But I feel like as, you know, we practice more and more, they starting to get it. They started to feel for one another and how the game goes and how, you know, the pace of the game goes as well. So I feel like, you know, they're getting better over time and, you know, we're going to be a really good team. So. Kind of building off that, just how different is this for you this season? Like last year, you were one of the new guys, mm -hmm. and now you're one of the three returnees with nine newcomers. Like, how different has that kind of role reversal been for you? It's been, um, I would say a breeze, but you know, I already know what to expect and know what to do. So, I feel like as me being, you know, a fifth year on a team, you know, and having that experience, I feel like I'm more comfortable. I know what to do now. You know, just to talk, you know, with the young guys about, you know, different things that they need to learn. So, Is that pressure, do you feel like, on you that you feel like having to bring along so many young guys as a, as a senior leader? Um, kind of. You know, just w worry about sometimes how good we're going to be and things like that. But, mm -hmm. you know, they're very talented young young guys. So I feel like, you know, as soon as, you feel me, they get to you knowing, like, steps on, like, how to run offense and things like that and defense, I feel like we're going to be really good. Uh, he definitely grown. Um, I can see weight-wise, strength-wise. Um, he's able to be able to take bumps, you know, when he drives and things like that. Um, and just um, knowing when to, you know, knowing his spots on the floor. You feel like, I feel like he's a good dribble pull-up shooter. And I feel like, you know, he's grown up, you know, to, you know, knowing what to, when to attack, when not to attack. So.